So the first step we're going to do today is just to paint our background. And I have a metallic paint because this is going to be a metallic 3D mixed art piece of work. <laughs> Maybe we'll call it that piece of work. So my living room has pale green walls called um, green tea. So my background on this painting is going to be a metallic green. And I'm just going to keep going back and forth and back and forth until I have the whole thing covered. And then I'm going to do the edges because I always do the edges. When I'm finished, it is a hangable piece of art. Normally, I put the paint in a dish and then do it, but since I'm only painting this full canvas, I just put it directly on the canvas. Why cause more steps than you need to? And I have some excess paint on the top, so I'm going to go around and do the sides. If I need more, I'll just get more paint. And once we finish this step, we're just going to let it dry, and then we get to do the fun stuff. The stuff that I haven't figured out yet, which is the same way you'll do it. Well, you may plan your whole piece out before you start painting the background. I generally paint to match my rooms, or I decorate my rooms to match what I have the most paintings of. I've had every color scheme you can imagine, so I have every color of painting in my house, or stacked up somewhere because I didn't have anywhere to fit it in. Just make sure you get the edges really well so it'll look nice when it's finished. Keep going back over to make sure your, your front of your painting is smooth. Although, with what we're going to be doing with this painting, if it's not perfectly smooth, it probably won't make a lot of difference. But you will see when we do what we're going to do. Which, like I said, I haven't quite figured out yet. But I have a little bit of an idea in my head. And I have a drawer full of broken jewelry pieces and beads that I am planning to use in this. And I'm thinking of a paisley kind of idea. Um, not sure yet, but I'm thinking something to do with paisley and beads and metal. So it looks like I've got all the edges. I'm just going to go through the top again and make sure it's nice and smoothed out. And hopefully I have covered every little bit, but if I haven't, I have my trusty paint here. Since I didn't mix colors, it would be very easy to touch it up. So we'll let that dry, and we'll come back to the next step. I am going to try to do a 3D paisley print painting. My face coat is stuck to the paper, but dry. If it's stuck to the paper, you just pull it off and sometimes it all comes loose and this time it did. So that's my base coat. It's a metallic kind of medium green. It's going in a room that has a pale green wall um, and about every other color you can imagine. But I thought I would do this with some things I had just laying around 
in a big drawer. And this, this is from a bracelet that I bought, I think, in Jamaica. Um, and it looked really pretty to me in the store, but when I tried to wear it, it was so heavy and bulky. It was not comfortable at all to wear. And then somehow it broke. So I think it will go very nicely right in the middle of my painting if I can make the um, glue hold on to it. So that's going to be my first step, to try to make this stick to the painting and stay there because it is very heavy. I have not used this glue, so that's a good thing. That means it's probably not dried up. that right there and say a prayer over it. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to try to make little paisley type designs in the corners. I have a picture here I'm looking at. It's not exactly what I'm going to do, but it's giving me a little inspiration. So I can see, I'm going to see I can even get started with doing something like this. I've never done anything like this before, by the way. So I'm going to try to draw the little... Okay, not happening very easily. Try to make the glue do the shape that I want. Come on, glue. Okay, there's one. And then I want the other one to go the opposite way. Well, so that's what I've got so far. Ah, <laughs> glue is not working very well. Let's try a different tactic. This glue, I think, has to sit very still and dry, so I'm not going to lift this up for a bit. I'm going to work on this little corner right here, and then I'm going to show you what I've got. If you're doing this with me, you can, of course, work on yours while I work on mine. I'm going to start with the biggest bead at the widest part. And I'm going to try to graduate sizes. These are all mixed up in here, all different sizes. So it's not going to be exactly perfect, but really whatever is. It's going to be hanging high upon a wall, so nobody will likely be examining it with a magnifying glass as that's not what art is anyway. So I'm just trying to get these beads to stick to the glue that I've put on here before the glue dries. And while the glue in the center dries. So I'm going to go with some I'm graduating sizes somewhat. So I'm now Trying to go with smaller beads, which don't work really, really well with my fingernails, because my fingernails want to stick to the glue before the beads do.
Now I've told you before, I really don't like to do anything twice. And this particular piece is going to be very repetitive, which will be a little bit boring and tedious for me. But I'm going to figure out a way to change it up and make it still look like it goes together. Don't know what yet. And then I have some, hmm, what do I have here? A jar full of strange things. Okay, I like that. I like that. These are just, I used to um, make jewelry at a nursing home I worked at. I worked in the activities department, so it was kind of my job to do things like that. And um, I just kept buying up different kinds of beads and then putting them in containers, not realizing that one day I would be doing this. But, uh... I will have to find that bead. I take care of children in my house and... Oh, that was easy. I take ch care of children in my house and it would not be good to have beads on the floor. Because, you know, little kids like to put things in their mouths. Not food. They don't want to put vegetables in their mouths. But they want to put things that they shouldn't in their mouths. So I'm just picking out some beads that I think might look nice as accent pieces. And I'm running out of hand. No, 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 little beads. Well, I'll have to get a vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to keep doing this. And I'll show you what I have so far. Okay, cooperate with me here. Okay, so so far, I have the corner up here. Where I have two little paisley figurines made with beads. And then I'm trying to get my centerpiece to stick to the board. And I'm picking out beads that I'm going to use for accent pieces. Let's see if I can get, okay, and now i got my screen back up here so you can see my inspiration piece. I don't intend for mine to look like that, but that's what I'm working towards a little bit. See you in a little while. So this is where it's going to go. Over my books, over my television, over my fireplace, in my living room. Uh, those are some 8 by 10 paintings of flowers that I did. And I'm going to do these 3D art pieces to go in between those paintings and on either end. So they will be tiny, 8 by 10.